Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've got these two really old computers. These are both PC desktops. They're kind of really old now. And uh, what I'd like to be able to do is to move the data from the old hard drives in these onto a nice modern USB 3 hard drive, which I've got here right here. So basically what we need to do is to deconstruct these computers so we can extract the hard drives out. So I'm just gonna show you, this is a fairly generic method of doing it. Uh, it should apply for desktops of this era. So for example, this is a Pentium 4 with Windows XP. This is a Dell Dimension 2400. This one's like a custom beige computer, but basically the steps are virtually identical. So I'm gonna show you this Dell one first because um, this one doesn't have a side cover anyway. So uh, what I'm gonna do is to extract the hard drive. So you can kind of tell what the hard drive is from the ribbon cables. So these are the old style IDE cables. And uh, I can see there's a power cable here, which I'm gonna extract. And then there's an IDE cable here. And uh, basically we wanna pull out this, this cage to get to the hard drive so I can actually get working on it. So I'm pulling out the hard drives because I don't want to have to deal with the operating systems of these computers. I just want to pull them out and then extract the data. So I want to just pull out this hard drive cage. I can see there's a screw here that I need to remove too. And I can see that's gotten loose. That's all we needed to do. And then we have this final screw here, which I'm going to take out. This one's quite dusty, but we have a 40 gigabyte Seagate Barracuda. This is a standard 3.5 inch hard drive with the IDE and the Molex cable. So we've got one final screw here, which I'm just gonna take out. And then we've got this uh, hard drive cage. So that's the first hard drive. So next computer is this one here. I'm gonna pull out the screw from here. Just pull out the side. So it's pretty standard side panel. And here we can see that there is a small hard drive here. So I've pulled out those screws there and we still have screws on the other side too. So I'm gonna flip it over and get the other side panel off. And then we'll remove these two screws here. So now that all those screws are removed, I can feel that this hard drive is loose. Let's take out the Molex cable and the IDE cable. And now we've successfully extracted this hard drive. This is a 30 gigabyte ATA133 hard drive from Maxtor. So that's our second hard drive that we're gonna keep. So in order to transfer these hard drives onto a more modern machine, well, firstly, I need to dust it, but we need to consider the IDE connectors. So these are kind of ancient in today's terms, and we need a special connector to get them to work. So for example, even this thin Maxtor one has a IDE connector, and we need something that's gonna to connect to a modern computer so that we can transfer it. The adapter that I'm gonna use is this powered one called a Fidico, and uh, I'm going to link in the description the newer version of this, but this is basically sufficient. What we're basically gonna do is connect the IDE end of this and also the Molex connector here, and then this side is gonna be a modern USB 3 cable, and we're basically gonna copy this data from these two hard drives to this brand new, Toshiba Canvio one terabyte hard drive so that we can access all the data there. So we're gonna be using my MacBook to do the copying. We can use any Windows computer as well that's both going to work for this particular system. So what we need to do first is to connect the IDE drive to the IDE connector. So you can see that there are these pins here which will line up and then there's a notch there which lines up to this notch here. So I'm going to push this in and also we have the Molex power connector. So the Molex power connector goes in, it has these beveled edges here. I'm going to plug this in like so. So this is quite tight, make sure it's in fully. And then now that hard drive is attachable. Now this is the type of hard drive cable which requires power. So I'm going to power this now. And of course, for the modern MacBook, I'm gonna need a USB A to C adapter. So I'm gonna use this little hub thing here. I'll plug that into the here and then plug this into my computer. So with these power hubs as well, we have an on and off switch, which I'm going to flick on here. So I'm just gonna make sure that this is in a nice and secure location so that we don't move it around too much while we do the transfer. Here, I'm just logging into my computer and I can see that the untitled drive has already mounted here. 
So I'm going to be plugging this hard drive, which is the brand new one, into the very same USB-C hub. This is not going to be ideal for transfer speeds, but it's the simplest one in view of having two different USB-C adapters. So here we're going to plug that in. So on the computer side here, I've got the Toshiba extension here, and it's a one terabyte file, and it's a NTFS file. So I'm going to wipe this using disk utility, and I'm going to change it into an XFAT drive. So I'm going to erase, and then I'm going to call this PC Backup and then Erase. And then in this PC Backup, I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to call this one Dell. And then basically what I'm going to do is to take the contents of Untitled, and I'm going to File, Copy. And then we're going to paste it into the Dell folder here. So I'm going to go to Edit and then Paste. And then that's going to make a full backup of this hard drive. And so basically I'm going to repeat this process for this hard drive too, and then that's the way that we're going to save the data of this computer. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.